Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a new discovery about our own galaxy, the Milky Way. And more specifically we're going to be talking about the galactic disk of the Milky Way and its age. Let's talk a little bit more about this and welcome to What The Math. So when it comes to studying space, one of the most difficult parts is actually studying our own galaxy. Because of our location within the galaxy, it's very difficult for us to see a lot of things in it. We can only mostly imply the things about our own galaxy by looking out there and trying to find analogs or similar galaxies that could somehow resemble the Milky Way. For example, by thoroughly studying certain parameters of the Milky Way galaxy, we not so long ago discovered that our own galaxy resembles something that looks like this. It's not really that flat. It seems to have a bit of a curl or a bit of a warp. And this is based on a galaxy we've observed somewhere out there. And if you were to look at the Milky Way, it might look something like this. So this is what we believe our galaxy looks like. We've also not so long ago discovered these unusual Fermi bubbles that you see here. And these things here resemble um, bubbles that usually form around active galaxies, such as, for example, nearby Cipher galaxies. So in that sense, this resembles what we've seen around the nearby galaxy known as Centaurus A. And so with time, we're learning more and more about the shape, the structure, the composition, and now the age of the Milky Way. And so the recent study that used the Australian Astro 3D, which is this excellent project that you can check out in the description below, essentially allowed us to investigate the age of the so-called thick disk. Now, what exactly is the thick disk? Well, a typical spiral galaxy, even though it looks like it just has this one spiral disk, in reality has two disks on the inside. In a nutshell, it sort of looks like this. So we have our bulge in the middle, that's the most visible part of a galaxy. We have the thick disk, which is the larger and also much older part. And then we have the thin disk that's usually much younger. And then there's a bunch of globular clusters all over and the so-called halo. This is probably the simplest way of imagining a typical galaxy similar to the one uh, where we live. And so when the scientists behind the study applied astro seismology to literally thousands and thousands of stars that were uh, discovered as part of the Kepler-2 project, they realized two things. One is that um, there was a slight miscalculation with the previous age of the disk, and two is that, well, it seems that now we have a relatively accurate age of the thick disk of the Milky Way, and this age has been found to be roughly around 10 billion years old. Suggesting once again that the thicker region of the Milky Way here is at least 10 billion years old and at the same time suggesting that the disk formed billions of years after the rest of the galaxy. So here we have to start looking at the galaxy as forming in different parts. It seems that approximately 12.8 billion years ago this part, the bulge, was born most likely through the galactic collision of various small galaxies that existed about a billion years after the creation of the universe. Following this, and here we can actually accelerate time to maybe possibly form this bulge. Okay, this is not as thick as I wanted it to be, but I guess it will have to do for now. For almost 3 billion years, uh, the galaxy very likely just looked like this. In other words, it resembled a typical elliptical galaxy, somewhat similar to what we can create here in Universe Sandbox. So this elliptical galaxy or this bulge, the galactic bulge of the Milky Way is still there and it contains some of the oldest stars in our galaxy. As a matter of fact, we've discovered stars that even sort of break the rules of the universe. There was even one star discovered uh, a few years ago that seemed to have been even older than the universe, although there was a slight miscalculation and a huge range of error, so it's definitely not going to be that old. But nevertheless, all of these stars today are at least 13 billion years old and many of them are still there and are still kind of kicking. 
Then, uh, within the next 3 billion years, something else happened. It's very likely that um, other galaxies started to collide with this bulge and eventually formed what seems to be the beginnings of the thick disk. All of this happened um, around 10 billion years ago and then for the next billion years the galaxy still sort of maintained a relatively a disk-like but not very flat shape. It probably resembled something like this Although for all we know, it could have also been a lot more similar to what is known as the Sombrero Galaxy right here. In either way though, we're not really sure yet because we haven't analyzed how all of this changed over time. We only know how old these stars are. And then about 8.8 .8 billion years ago, or roughly around 1.2 billion years after the creation of the thick disk, that's when the final part of the galaxy was born, the thin disk. And this may have been from either another collision or the sudden addition of gas from somewhere else. And then eventually over time the disk stabilized and began resembling a typical spiral galaxy that we kind of see everywhere around us now. So unfortunately we don't really have any more detail about this, we just know that the thick disk is roughly around 10 billion years old, but hopefully one day we'll be able to reconstruct all of this in terms of the actual progression. It'd be interesting to find out what happened first, how certain parts of the galaxy, like for example the spiral arms were created, and how all of this eventually ended up in the shape that we have today. But it's not going to happen anytime soon because we'll need a lot more analysis and a lot more observation of various parts of the galaxy before we can discover something else that can um, advance our knowledge of morphology of the Milky Way. At the same time, this discovery presents the Milky Way galaxy as an extremely ancient galaxy. Just the fact that the thick disk was developed so many years ago, 10 billion years ago, is a little bit mind-blowing. And just to give you a bit of a perspective, our planet Earth and our solar system is only about 4.5 billion years old meaning that it's not even half as uh, old. So our galaxy was already established and had a very similar and very familiar shape for at least 5 billion years before our planet Earth was even created, suggesting once again that the Milky Way is one of the more ancient galaxies out there. But anyway, until we learn more about the Milky Way or about the thick bulge, or until we learn more about the shape of our galaxy, that's kind of it. Come back tomorrow to learn something else, subscribe if you still haven't, and consider supporting this channel Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. Either way, come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before, and space out, and as always, bye bye.